Stephanie Barron. I'm Senior Curator and Head of the Modern Art Department at LACMA. Well, we're in the Modern Art Galleries. Modern Art has returned to LACMA after being gone for several years. And we're thrilled to be able to present it in new skylit galleries on the top floor of the BCAM building. These new spaces have been redesigned together with architect Frank Gehry. And it's a beautiful way to go through the collection from about 1900 to the 1960s. This is an opportunity to have a new home for our very popular modern art collection. Works by Picasso, Giacometti, the Abstract Expressionist, German Expressionism. And these now will be returned to public view for the foreseeable future. One of the things that Frank Gehry has provided us is a really harmonious, elegant setting to display the modern collection. One of the reasons that I went to Frank Gehry to work with me on this is how do you channel natural light? Natural light is challenging. It's beautiful for sculpture and it's a little tricky sometimes for paintings and works on paper. Frank Gehry is a master of really honoring what works of art need and we worked out this plan that allows us to bring natural light to suffuse sculpture, like on the platform behind me, and yet provide a different quality of light to the paintings. He does that through building soffits, and some of the galleries have soffits and some not. The modern art collection at LACMA has certain strengths and that's really what we try to, to focus on. We begin with a room of German Expressionism, painting, sculptures, and an adjacent room for our very strong works on paper collection. We have Janice and Henri Lazaroff collection with great strengths in Picasso and Giacometti and modern sculpture. And we have now devoted an entire room to the work of Picasso and that makes this one of, I think, a destination space, um, one of the best places to look at Picasso outside of New York City. So this gallery is the gallery space we use to show rotations from the Rifkind Center, which is a kind of specialized department within the museum that is focused on the work of mostly the ex German Expressionists. So we're kind of just off the main modern gallery that has the German collection, which focuses mostly on the work of the German Expressionists, especially the group De Brucke, the, the bridge. And so there are artists that are kind of living around the same time, artists who are active kind of in the same period, but this, this display, this first rotation, is focused on the work of women artists. So unlike most of the rest of the modern collection, which is mostly male, um, kind of unsurprisingly, because we have this kind of collection that is in depth, we're able to show the work of a lot of women, many of whom are not really well known, although some of them are, like Kata Kolwitz is one of the most sort of famous women artists, not just from Germany, but sort of of the 20th century. So it's, it's nice that we're able to kind of offer this kind of complement to the modern displays in a way that, that kind of offers a focused look at something rather than kind of a broad one. One of the things that we've done in this presentation is to think freshly about the works that we have on view. We have rethought and rewritten all of the accompanying texts, um, talking about issues that are perhaps of more interest today than they might have been 10 or 15 years ago. We also have audio tours, thematic audio tours that visitors can access through their smartphones as well as a soundtrack. So there are 64 different musical pairings of individual paintings and sculptures and specific soundtracks. So the visitor can come through, bring your smartphone and bring your ear earphones, and you can have an amazing opportunity to learn freshly about the works that are on view. We are the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. Although we only moved to this campus in 1965, we were still attached to Los Angeles County. We weren't a dedicated art museum. And I find it fascinating that in 1925, um, through funds from LA County, the museum purchased a contemporary work by the master Diego Rivera. Flower Day was painted in 1925 and acquired in 1925. So if we think about what contemporary art is, in 1925, 
We were buying contemporary art and it is now one of the hallmarks, one of the iconic works in LACMA's collection, thanks to the LA County Fund. There are many works that have been on view for, many, for decades, and there are also a number of works that have never been on view before. They're new acquisitions, and there are also new stories to be told. I hope that people will find works and they'll say, you know, I've never seen this before, or I never looked at it like this. It looks different in these spaces. And we all know that the context, the space in which you see something, affects how you respond to it. And I think that these new galleries offer that opportunity.